Hello, you bear. We spend $60 billion to spoil our pets every year. Mama loves you. Here we go. And right now, get in there. Pet accessories are popping more than ever. First up, the pet sling. Time in the back. Come here on. For pets that won't sit still, listen, or have bad behavior, people are paying 10 bucks for one of these. <laughs> but pet expert Robert Semro says it's problematic. Folks, we have an, a pet obesity yeah, crisis going on that's here. That's crazy. In part because we're always carrying them. We've got them in our little pouches. Yep. And it's overkill. We, yeah. we see them doing so much. They need to use their legs. People will judge you. <laughs> I will judge you if you have your dog in a baby sling. Come here. Instead of restricting them, sit. Try training them. Good boy. Next up, the cat hoodie. I got this one on Amazon for 70 bucks. Hi, Roscoe. And borrowed a cat to test it out. We'll just slide in there. There you go. Sure, it's said to be the ultimate snuggle spot, but forcing your cat into a space really stresses them out. Oh. Oh, they feel confined. For the most part, they want to be free, and that's not what nature intended. You may think it's cute, but pushing them into a strange pocket may leave you with a genuine scaredy cat. Last on our list, strollers. Such a nice day out. If your dog is perfectly <laughs> capable of walking and you towed it around in a stroller, is that an issue? Well, nature gave them four legs, yeah. probably not to sit in a stroller. <laughs> if there's a medical reason, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But if they're healthy, dogs should walk. Good girl, keep walking. Animals need exercise, and strollers just enable laziness. Come on. So what should you splurge on? Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Hmm. Come here, Hans. Come here, bud. Pet complexes Meow. on the breakdown.